In this video, I want to introduce myself and the course. Now, my name is Andy Williams, and I'm actually an ex-science teacher. But for the last 15, 16 years, I've been a professional SEO, and I've specialised in WordPress, search engine optimization, and writing content. I've also got about 20 books on Amazon, which are all related to webmaster type skills, and I'm a software developer. The first SEO software I created was called SEO Website Builder, and it allowed anybody non-technical to create websites that could rank well in Google. That software is no longer available because of the way Google changed, but my current software is called Web Content Studio, and that does a similar thing. That just helps to create great content, the sort of content that Google and the other search engines want to rank. But let's get back to this course. Who is this course for? Well, it's for anyone that runs a WordPress website. If you've been doing any sort of reading around the web, you may be a little bit concerned, thinking that maybe WordPress is insecure and you're going to get hacked. Well, have a look at the next lecture because hopefully those fears will be put aside. But let's have a look what you need to take this course. Firstly, no prior knowledge. I'm not going to assume you know anything other than you've got a WordPress site that you want to secure. We're going to talk about the various ways you can increase security on your site and we can make your site more secure during the installation of WordPress or after the site has already been established. So if you've got a website and you haven't done any of the security measures discussed in this course, don't worry. You can apply them at any time and we'll show you how in this course. We are actually going to be covering a few technical techniques for securing your WordPress website. However, don't worry if you are not technically minded, because in the latter part of this course, we're going to be using an all-in-one security plugin to secure a website. And if you just set up that plugin, you will have a very secure website. If you want to try some of the more technical techniques that we're going to talk about, then by all means, try them. But it's not essential. As I said, we're going to set up a plugin that covers 99% of the security techniques that you're going to need to use. Securing a WordPress website actually involves some common sense as well as these more technical tweaks. So this course is going to cover both of those. It's going to talk about the common sense measures and it's going to talk about the tweaks that you can do. And there are really two ways that you can use this course. And that probably depends on your technical ability or your confidence in trying out these things. For more advanced or adventurous students, as you go through this course, you can carry out the tweaks as we cover them. When you come to set up the security plugin later in the course, you will have manually completed some of the security measures already. That's absolutely fine. For beginners that just want a secure site, I recommend you watch all of the videos and learn all of the ways in which you can secure your site, but just watch them. When it comes to the setting up of the security plugin, then follow that step by step, and at the end you will have a secure website. So that's the introduction out of the way. Let's have a look and see whether WordPress really is insecure in the next lecture.